I'm coming to you from an undisclosed location. My studio is not safe anymore. Not since I discovered the truth. They don't want you to know. NMM isn't as hard as you think. Hey, painting pals. Welcome back to Mandy's Minis. And yes, today we're talking about NMM, non-metallic metal. So that is where you paint metal on a miniature with non-metallic paints to make it look like it's metal. Now, very clear disclaimer in this. This is not going to be a tutorial to give you the best, most perfect NMM results. This is a starting point. And the basics is just layering. Now, it is extreme contrast layering. But that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna get started. First thing you wanna do is grab yourself a mini and do yourself a favor. Do not grab a suit of armor or something that is completely clad in metal because if you mess that up, your whole mini is ruined. Once again, we're doing the basics, the beginner stuff. We're just learning this and practicing. So if we pick a model like this, where we have a weapon, we have belt buckles, maybe a piece of jewelry, we can add a little bit for practice without ruining an entire model if it doesn't turn out. And if it does turn out, great, then you can move on to doing larger pieces like your suit of armor. And if it doesn't, then you can keep practicing. So. Right now, where we're at is we are based out in Vallejo. There we are, Vallejo Black. And I am going to move on to our next color, which is going to be Graphene Gray, which is a scale color. And for this one, what we are doing is layering. That's right, NMM is nothing more than layering with extreme contrast. So, we're gonna go ahead and prove that by just layering up with our colors. So, first color down, second color down. Okay. Now, let's move on to our next color, which is actually going to be gray-blue. And frequently when you see silvers or steels, they always incorporate a little blue because that tends to pull very nicely. Next thing I'm doing is moving on to our first highlight, which is skill color Mojave White. So we're going to add this in here. Let's try and do a better job with that. Because that is looking pretty terrible and not even like a good layer, base layer. But it does just go to show sometimes you need a lot more than just two coats. Okay, and now we are going with AK Pure White. I'm going to wear some of this in here. And ta da! 
We're done. Isn't that awesome? Such great NMM. But if we blend it, it will actually start looking more like this. Which the problem with this axe is I kind of went a little over and hit a little bit of this side that was already done. But that's okay. I'm also going to show you my actual blending. So from here, we're just gonna go to 50-50 mixes. So going all the way back to the black and the graphene gray, I've got a 50-50 mix of the two. And I'm just going to use that to kind of soft it, soften this transition here. And you can see how nice that looks. Okay, then I'm going to go 50-50 with the graphene gray and the gray blue. much like I did there. That's all right. We can just go back to our straight graphene gray and add a little bit more in. Kind of darken that back up. Then we're going to have our 50-50 of the Mojave white and the gray blue. a little bit nicer. If you start having trouble like that, you can use feathering, you can use wet blending. What I'm doing here is actually feathering. Um, it's similar to wet blending, except uh, basically one layer is already dry, so you're just kind of softening out the color you're adding. And as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit better and easier to read. I'm going to reinforce the, the black back over here where I went over because that helps me read it a little bit more. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth and blending all of these together. And as you can see, we're already starting to get pretty nice transitions here. Once we get that nice and smooth, we'll be able to see the effect. But the key thing with NMM is you gotta go to those extremes. You gotta go all the way down, you gotta go all the way up. And once you start getting this better and the blending gets easier and you get more practice with it, that's when you can start adding things like your extra bounce shadows, your reflected light, your environmental colors. And I always do recommend when you're um, doing NMM, you really wanna make sure you're using reference photos because uh, it is very hard to guess where you're going. And 
without uh, sorry I'm losing my train of thought important thing I'm trying to say is it's hard to see to know where to put those exact highlights and shadows without a little bit of a reference when you're first starting and I certainly wouldn't call these blends perfect by any means at this point but we are doing pretty good with them I feel like it actually is reading better on camera than it is in person which is a little bit backwards whatever works and there we go get a little more of that dark reinforced I'm going to finish it up with a little edge highlighting Edge highlighting is you actually do not want your edge highlights to be the same all the way around. In the shadowy areas I have a darker and in the hot, brighter areas I have a lighter edge highlight. And there we go. A perfect beginner basic NMM blade. Now I can move on to the rest of it, and you're going to get to see that scrolling across the screen right now, the finished product. I hope this helps, and I really hope that uh, you are able to get any information out of it. If you do, please let me know. If not, hey, let me know what does work for you. I'm always happy to get new input. And uh, that's what's great about our community is we're always sharing different information and tips. And, you know, there's more than one way to do things and get the same results or at least similar ones. And what works for someone may not work for someone else. So it's always great to have those different ideas and input. Please be sure to share. And while you're down there, I hope you'll consider joining our community subscribe, like, check out our Patreon website, social media links. We're active on all of those and you can reach me and I always respond to all the comments and inquiries. And I hope you'll consider checking it out. Until next time, have fun and keep creating. Mm -hmm.